Hi, how's it going, folks? So, I know I've addressed this issue in the past. However, I want to uh, actually elaborate on it a little bit more in this video. I'm going to start off uh, with some of the memes, and we'll go from there. All right, so, as we can tell, the person who posted the tweet and the person who posted the meme obviously are not too happy about the fact that Kinder Surprise eggs are illegal in the U.S., yet firearms are. And my response to this is simply, you probably need to look at people on your side of the aisle, people with your mentality, because it was that very mentality that got Kinder Surprise eggs banned. The fact of the matter is, is that the law used to justify the banning of Kinder Surprise eggs dates back to 1938. Uh, happened under the FDR administration. Y'all remember who FDR is and how great of a president he was? I can't even say that with a straight face. And that's because I don't think very highly of FDR. I think he was in the top five worst presidents this country has ever had. Um actually consider Woodrow Wilson probably the worst, but that's a different video. However, in that time frame, many in the government and the general public thought, you know, it was the government's responsibility to protect people from themselves. Now, again, in that time frame, that's where you got a lot of the nanny statism. I mean, hell. I mean, even a lot of restrictions on our firearms. Our very first gun control law at the national level was the NFA of 1934. It was done under the FDR administration. And the FDR administration wanted to go further with it, but realized it was not politically expedient to do so uh, because they would alienate uh, a large portion of their base, which still owned handguns. You know, they figured handguns were way too popular, and that's why they're also not NFA items right now. So, with that being said, that whole mentality of, well, the government's there to ban stuff that we don't like, uh, you know, or ban stuff we think makes us in more danger, is the very mentality that got Kinder Surprise Eggs banned in the first place. And, you know, the memes on this actually go on. It, it, it's not just limited to firearms. Um, let me show you. Okay, so we can see this doesn't apply just to firearms. Uh, they've tried this with a few other things um, as well. I'd say they as in people posting the Kinder Surprise Egg memes. Um, yeah, flamethrowers, you can get those legally in the U.S. with the exception of two states, California and Maryland. Um, the rest of the U.S. are less restricted than firearms, even. There are no prohibiting factors, to my knowledge. Uh, you can order one online and have it sent to your door. Um, and there's a reason why people have flamethrowers. Um, if you're a rancher, or farmer, or anybody else who owns a bunch of land and there's a dry season... Probably a good idea to do a control burn from time to time uh, to make sure that brush doesn't build up. Uh, so if a fire does start, it makes it a lot less likely that fire is going to become a wildfire. Um, cigarettes, you know, I'm against uh, further restricting cigarettes uh, too. Um, you know, we tax the hell out of cigarettes and other tobacco products. We have uh, several restrictions on smoking, um, for better or for worse. And the fact of the matter is, is it's really not any uh, of your business, you know, whether somebody else uh, smokes or not. You know, alcohol. We've tried prohibition on alcohol. We actually did it with a constitutionally, uh, the constitutional amendment. It didn't turn out too well. I, in fact, uh, we ended up uh, repealing it with another constitutional amendment. So, again, the idea that we're going to... Uh, make the world a better place by just restricting people uh, from engaging in freedoms that they might choose to engage in is a, a bad idea. So with this being said, I'm going to pull up another one.
So here's another uh, argument gun controllers like to use. It's akin to the Kinder Surprise Egg uh, one again. And this time it's with lawn darts. And we're all supposed to pretend that, you know, gun controllers really aren't trying to ban guns, even though they're taking an example of an item that was banned after four people died uh, as a result of injuries sustained uh, related to that item. And they're actually in this item saying, well, there have been 291 school shootings, but, you know, we still haven't had any laws banning guns. <laughs> We're supposed to pretend that they're really not out to try to ban guns. Alas, still, this whole mentality of we need the government to make laws to keep us safe is what got lawn darts banned in the first place. The only difference is, is that you don't have a bunch of people who are into lawn darts saying no. So, yeah, those bans are going to get through. The fact of the matter is, is that um, when you have this mentality, anything that doesn't have anybody defending it is going to get banned or heavily restricted. Meanwhile, if you've got a good, strong defense against banning an item, such as firearms, well, you're going to have a harder time ramming through laws. In fact, I think it's shameful we got the firearm laws we do right now. I don't like the ban on lawn darts either. However, when it comes to lawn darts and my AR-15, um, or my AR-15s, I should say, because I have many of them, well, my ability to own and buy these in the future, uh, to me, supersedes getting lawn darts legal again. I want to go on to uh, another one. This one's actually more falsely framed. All right, so let's start off with the obvious lie in this one, you know, because gun control groups love to play fast and loose with the language. They don't like to try to be factually correct. They want to simply throw out a rhetorical point, regardless of whether or not it's 100% true or there is anything misleading in this. Uh, the fact of the matter is dodgeball has not been banned in the U.S. What they're probably referring to is the fact that in some school districts, uh, dodgeball is probably not taught in gym anymore, and dodgeball is probably not allowed to be played by the students at recess. And the reason for this being is obviously some very mentally fragile parents and school board members decided they wanted to bubble wrap the uh, world for the kids at their school. What's also true is that you can't carry a firearm into school either. Um, uh, you know, at least in most states, it's illegal to do so. In fact, it's like 99% of the time, it's illegal. So, with this being said, yeah, it's uh, a false comparison. It's a, another dishonesty from the gun controllers. What can I say? So, with all this being said, the moral uh, of the story here, the point I'm trying to get through to you is that you're not going to make a better place by trying to bubble wrap the world. Do I think Kinder Surprise Eggs should be illegal? No. I don't think they should be illegal. I think they should be 100% legal. Do I think lawn darts should be illegal? No, I don't. Do I think this whole idea that the government should just be out there passing laws uh, to keep us safe? No, I, I think that was a terrible idea. And this unfortunately started well before most of us were born. In fact, uh, I doubt there are many people that were alive in the time when they started all this crap to begin with. And this is what I chalk up to being a failure uh, on previous generations in this country. We allowed this crap to happen. Our previous generations allowed this crap to happen. Now you have people, they may have some sort of disappointment that maybe kinder surprise eggs are illegal lawn darts are illegal their kids can't play dodgeball in school but 
then they want to continue to use the same mentality to push for more gun laws. And it's just not going to work. You know? Well, at least I hope it fails. You know? So, with that being said, I really do think it's time for us to realize that we're not going to have an ideal world. Um, the best world we can hope for is a world with a maximum amount of freedom. Where the government isn't always nosed into our lives, you know, where things we choose to engage in are actually legal. And we're not worried about, well, this person is doing that one thing I disapprove of. Um, let's have the government pass another law against it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Y'all take it easy out there and have a great day.